So hi, this is Coach Luciano, and today we are going to talk about double unders, one of my favorite movements in CrossFit. It took me years to learn these, but with a little bit of effort, everybody can learn how to do double unders. And we're not just looking for double unders, but we want people to do double unders with solid form. So they should look something like this. So what we're looking for is for not just to do double unders, but not see a big donkey kick or a big pike sort of forward with the legs. This is kind of the donkey kick style, right? It's really inefficient, not very good for doing large numbers of double unders. Or you kind of bend in the middle. That's not really efficient either. So a few things, first of all, is about what equipment you use. And you should ideally buy your own rope. This really helps because you have a consistent kind of equipment, but also you can tailor it so that it fits your body correctly in terms of length, and so that you have a weight that's helpful to you. So this is a speed cable with a really thin, light cable that is helpful if you have really strong double unders and it's a little bit less work to spin the rope. But as a beginner, it's often better to have a rope that's a little bit heavier which gives you more tactile feedback about where the rope is around your body. So find a company like RX Jump Ropes or RPM and pick a couple of different weights of cable, start with a heavier rope, and then get lighter. The other thing is length. And as you can see, my rope is actually relatively short. So if I stand on it and I bring the handles up, they actually don't even come to my armpits. And the nice thing about having a shorter cable is that it forces good form, right? If your arms tend to splay out as you do double unders, this will kind of force you to keep your hands in the best position to have really good form for double unders. So what about progression? So the first thing that you want to be able to do is really solid single skips. So as you do single skips, you want to know that you can keep good form while you get tired. My suggestion is to pick a large number of single skips, one to 200, and aim to be able to do those without missing. So just have a nice, solid pace with those arms in the correct position, elbows tucked in, and hands a little bit in front of you. If you notice that you're doing single skips, and you can do them really quickly, that's really great for doing fast single skips, but not for progressing to double unders, because that speed isn't a speed that translates great. So try to slow the single skips down a little bit so that you have a pace that you can keep when you go to double unders. The next thing is to do three single skips and a double under. And you want to try to get up to a solid number of those, maybe 25 to 50, so that you have a consistent pace and you're able to feel the difference between the speed of a single and a double. Then progress to two singles and a double, and so on and so forth, until you can string them together. Keep doing this. Practice five minutes a day every time you're at the gym. And before you know it, you'll be doing double unders too.